What happens when? When life meets lake. When talent meets opportunity. When technology meets innovators. When business meets lifestyle. When school meets community. It's all what happens when you live boy. Sponsors here, Liv Boyne. Welcome back to the reaction, folks. Tony Cutler and our special guest announcer today, Cole Butler. The Cutler Butler combo. Butler right. Cutler, the BC in BC against TC. BC, TC, CB, Cole Butler. Something like that. Wow. That's a lot of. That's a lot happening there. <laughs> Looked like a block by number 12, Lauren McDonald there. And Gladiators will get the ball back. 17 to 7, Glad's lead 727. Remaining in the first half. Name of the game here, Cole has been rebounds. Mm -hmm. And the opportunities that St. Francis has had. Yeah, more opportunities to score the better for your team. But not so much when it's the other team. Seven one seven on the board, seven seventeen on the time. Deep pass to Taylor Baker. Looked well, if like there was ever a was chance tipped. for Allie Johnson to dunk it, that was it. Darn she, it. She would have had that ball. She could have dunked it. A reverse jam. Coach Hills, I was just saying that uh, I predict a dunk by Allie, and uh, that could have been a dream come true right there. Now here's Taylor Baker. The guys behind me are oh. laughing. We might see a dunk here. I'll tell you what, I will donate $100 to the Cole Butler Memorial Scholarship Fund. Okay, okay, you, I'm hearing Memorial you. Scholarship Fund, <laughs> if somebody dunks it in this game. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gotta go get that ladder over there or something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Kelk, right. Kelk has offered up 1000 So I got a lot running on the line here, $1,100 on the line for a dunk in this game and I think it might happen. For I think Allie Johnson is gonna dunk. I've seen her do it before so. Listen. <laughs> you can't dunk that way. <laughs> We're not really sure who had the travel there. Didn't, didn't know anybody had the ball. Let's see what, let's take a look at that again. Here's the pass from Taylor over. Here's the dribble down. The ball comes out and uh, travel. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Well, Rambler's ball anyway. <laughs> it is now. No, it's not. Oh. There's a shot right now, it's gonna be off, and it's saved, but Brooke Fouché's gonna get it, and here comes Taylor Baker, six minutes and 20 seconds now, dribbling down, the shot to Rainey, yes! Three. For three, McCune! 17 to 10, and we had all net and all net mic on that one. You heard the sounds of that three going in, courtesy of the net mic. And you hear the brick on that one. There's going to be a foul coming against the Glads right into the back. Rambler's ball. Well, they drew that play up beautifully. Cole got it down inside, passed it out, and nothing but net. Just rainy like the way you do it, it in practice. Making it rainy out there. Making it rainy out there. Jenny Sellison checking into the game. Nick Hurts walking by the studios. This is a... 
quite the traffic zone right here. Here's the Ramblers inbounding the ball to Taylor Baker, now passing it back to Rainey McCune, who just came off that three. The ball gets Looks kicked like off it. the leg of, of uh, one of the glads there, number 20, Megan Knudsen. Remind you that a kick has got to be an intentional act, Cole, so it can go off the foot. It just can't be intentional. Ah, that's why it wasn't a kick. That's why ball. it's not a kick. There's a pass inside to Annie Lyman. Swings it, it to back number around. 10. Lydia Arthur who misses the shot. Brooke Fouché with the board. A tight defense there by Megan Knudsen. Now here's Rainey, coast to coast. A little fake move there, Ooh, but the ball gets away from her. It. Here comes Lydia Arthur, and she's going to be under. She's down on the ground, hurt. But Ann Lyman with the follow there. She went down pretty hard on her elbow. We're going to take a break. We got a hurt player here, so we're going to take a little break. We'll be back with more on RSN in just a moment. Well, welcome back, sports fans. Tony Cutler alongside a Cole Butler here. Lydia Arthur for the Glads. Just kind of took a hard one there right on her elbow, right on the baseline by uh, our camera crew here. And uh, we took a little break so she could get uh, attended to. Glad to see her get up, though. It's always scary when somebody goes down on the court. A little bit of a sore elbow, that's for sure. Well, Selena Brzezinski tried to force that one through, and it ended up getting tipped by the Glads, and then it's held there for a jump ball. Glads will retain possession. I think she should have just held it for a minute there. They were in transition, but yeah, uh, instead kind of forced it. Now here's a shot. Good for two by Juliana Phillips. Here's Brzezinski now bringing it down, looking to sell us into her right, the little bounce pass. Looked gets like deflected away by Britton. <laughs> now she tried to force a shot that wasn't there. Now there's Heather Nichols. And boy, we got to work on our passes here. Yeah. This is the third time now that they've tried to pass mm -hmm. the ball and it didn't get anywhere because it wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. well, you can't pass it through people. Yeah, that, that's not going to work. 21 to 10 now, the Glads with the lead, 433 remaining in the first half of play. Rebounding is the name of the game here. The Glads have been given a lot of opportunities and passes like that. Rebounding and turnovers. Just haven't been going the way of the Rambler here. A lot of bad passes on both sides, but hurting the Ramblers, that's for sure. Yes. Here's the Glads now. Brzezinski's all over trying to make Trying to stop the inbounds. The shot comes up and again off the bottom of the backboard. That shot by Sarah Carney. Brainy McCune's back in on offense. It's almost like hockey here. They keep subbing people in and out. Subbing on the fly. Pressure here. The full court press by the Glads trying to keep it from coming down the court. Now here's Taylor Baker. Passing it out to Nichols, the shot for three is going to be just off, but McCune with the rebound, passes it through the lane, and it's picked up, and Cole, again, what we've been talking about right there, those passes and the turnovers are not helping the Ramblers tonight. Right. Looks like a foul on Taylor Baker. So Sarah Carney will go to the line for two. And it looks like the Ramblers are having a little bit... A little bit of trouble matching up size-wise with the Glads here. Well, quite a few. We can see the height difference there. We don't have the stats on it, but you can definitely tell that there's a bit of a difference. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
So the first shot goes. Can't have your heels over the line. We just heard the sounds of the game. There's a nice shot right here of the Sarah Carney taking her free throw. Gets she makes that. Second one to go. 23 to 10. And uh, stop and play here for Jordan Weiss to check into the game on that made basket. 23 to 10. The Glads lead with four minutes remaining in the first half. Student section slowly starting to fill up there. Shana Rainey McCune Rainey inbounding the ball to Taylor Baker. She's all by herself, but it gets tipped away. And Lyman on the steal there. Oh, out hustling us a little bit and a few errors on the turnovers. And there is why you don't want those turnovers, Cole. Yep, and they turn into points for the other team. Ball McCune dribbling down now up at the top of the key. Pass it over to Baker for three. And it's going to come up and off. Minor adjustment there. Heather Nichols with the rebound. You read my mind, Cole. Look at this, right through her legs. Down on the floor, pass it right to Taylor Baker. Gets tipped out. White ball. Looks like Mallory Karaszewski checking in for Jenny Sellison here. Look at this shot by Brennan Heath right on the floor. Oh, yeah. A whole new perspective of the game right Gotta here. Gotta love it. There's the inbound pass to Baker. Over to Nichols. Driving inside. It's it two on go. the board. And look at Rainey with the tight defense there, but she's going to draw the foul. Pretty risky play there trying to, to stop it. It's an aggressive play that sometimes results in a foul, and in this case, it, it did. did. Well, this time, they're going to get it. Sometimes it pays off, though, like we just saw. Here's Rainey inbounding the ball to Mal Mallory Karaszewski. Passes it back out to Nichols for three. Off the front. There's a pass down to number 14, Suzanne Britton. Couldn't get the layup to go. Here we have Rainey McCune coming down the court. Swings it to Mallory Karaszewski, who passes to Taylor Baker. Drives the lane, shoots, and misses. But she gets her own rebound, brings it back out. Here we have Taylor Baker again. And that's going to be a foul on, looks like, Brooklyn Lauren, Barber. I think that's Lauren McDonald, wasn't it, number 12? Was it? Maybe. Maybe I was wrong. Nope, you're right. 34. There's a shot of the guys there getting ready for their game. Maceo Roman, Brad Fouché, Zach Napont, Tanner Cruzel playing with his hair. There's Bill. Oh, yeah. Scott Beebe standing over to our side there. Looking like he's ready for a fight. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go up against him. There's a shot for three. He's going to be off. McCune, McCune with the with save. The nice tries save. to get it uh, to Br Brooke Fouché. AKA uh, Sadie Robertson. She does look like Sadie Robertson. Look at that bump right there against Fouché. Rainey's got it, minute 45, 25 to 12. Glad's with the lead. Rainey's gonna try to drive inside, the behind the back pass, and is gonna draw the foul. Let's take a look at that again. Here's Rainey now. Tries to drive inside. Watch this behind the back pass. Gets the first one to go, so it's 13 to 25. About a minute 30 left in the second. It's Jordan Weiss at the line for the Ramblers. Second one bounces around and out. Minute and 30 to go. Ooh. Oh. That's 
to travel. Pace is picking up, I'll tell you. Looks like we got an illegal screen. Well, you know, uh, Megan Knudsen got taken down a little bit hard here. And you could hear her say she wasn't happy about it, and then she has an illegal screen. I don't hope that that's any kind of retaliation or anything like that, but it got a little aggressive there for a moment. Yeah, sometimes the games do get a little aggressive. But. Shot at Coach Fitz. Ooh, and Jordan Weiss couldn't hang on. Looked like the pass was a little bit behind her. Glad's coming down the court. Final minute of play here in the first half. 25 to 13, the Glads. Name of the game has been turnovers and rebounds. turnovers and turnovers and rebounds. Mm -hmm. Opportunities now. Here comes Rainey McCune dribbling down court with Heather Nichols. The shot is up and in. 27-15 now. Time ticking away. Hopefully we make a little comeback. It's always nice to get the lead within 10 before halftime. Now St. Francis is going to try to take the last shot here. 24 seconds. Passes out to the side. Knutson's shot is off. The rebound by Brooke Fouché. Now here comes Rainey. Passing it up to Mallory Karaszewski. She waits. And it goes off. No good. Rebound by number 14, Suzanne Britton, and she will be fouled. By, it looks like Brooke Fouché. So it looks like we got a one and one opportunity right here. <coughs> Ramblers with seven fouls. Shot at Coach Fitzpatrick there on the bench with Luke Reinhardt, the assistant coach. A little bit frustrated, I can imagine, right now. 27 to 15 against this Gladiator team. A little bit of a height advantage we've seen. First yeah. one is good on the shot for the bonus. Now 28-15 as Suzanne Britton goes to the line with the bonus. Here's her second shot. That's going to go off the back. Time is going to come close to an end here. Rainey McCune with the shot. It's going to go just off. Oh, good. 28-15, uh, St. Francis. End of the first half. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with the second half and maybe a little bit of Cole Butler for a little bit, maybe. All right. We'll maybe. see. Might have another guest coming in. We'll be back with more on the Rambler Sports Network. Here come the Lady Ramblers. I need to find Kluster to get a copy of his curriculum map. You seen it? Yeah, he's good at that stuff. Yeah, he keeps it on the Rubicon Atlas. Sh Shaka Khan what? No, it's not Shaka Khan. It's the Rubicon Atlas. <laughs> Isn't that a sandwich? Burn it! Hey, you got to keep your feet apart. And you're laid on your fall line. Yeah, so it's the Rubicon Atlas. Rubicon. He the beer I got real nice. Rubicon oh, try yeah. on Friday. Don't really good Rubicon sandwich over there. Yeah, extra, extra oh, horse rice. Right. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it slides right down. Yep. Yeah. Somebody else will be doing it, right? Uh, coach, Coach Ellis, Coach Ellis. Hey, I don't like this formation. I don't like the formation. Wait, I've seen it before. Yep, yep. It, it's not good, Dave. It's not good. Corey, Corey, hurry up. Alert, alert. Uh, let's go blue, deuce, pinch, uh, scat, Liz 39, Liz 39, lightning, lightning. Coach, lightning? Lightning. Ready up. All right, we're checking to alert, alert, blue, deuce, pinch, scat, Liz, 39, Liz, 39, lightning, lightning. Finally. Ready? Oh, nice job, Coach. How did you see that? Coming. I never saw it. Coach Hills, six daughters. You tend to pick things up after a while. Coach, I'm going to need to copy that. Yeah, me too.
thought there was no better way to do that than to uh, put on the striped shirt and pick up a whistle and stop complaining about the officials and, and go do something about it. And there was guys that were nice enough to do it and volunteer their time when I was a kid coming through school, so I'm just paying it forward. Initially I got into officiating because I was a coach and I wanted to learn more about our sport. Now I officiate because I want to make a difference. You can be a referee. My name is Maddie Fitzpatrick and this is Shane Schmidt. We are both Boynton City High School seniors and lifetime residents of the great town of Boynton City, Michigan. We love our town and can't wait to tell you all the great things happening here. An important part of our success is our decision to become a Main Street community in the state's first class of 2003. Since then, we have seen great things happen in our downtown. Boynton's Main Street has been a key partner in several important projects, including more than $5 million in infrastructure and streetscape improvements. We have seen historic buildings sparkle again, as well as the renovation of our town's old city park. We also now have effective wayfinding signage and beautiful streetscape furnishings. And fresh and expanded events, such as Stroll the Streets, that have been an extremely positive image of our community. Just as exciting, the private sector has joined in with substantial investments throughout our downtown. None has been greater than the One Water development, which opened in May of 2010. Phase one includes a restaurant, retail space, offices, and a marina. A three and a half million dollar investment that has created more than 100 full and part-time jobs. Working with our Main Street Design Committee, the building was crafted to enhance our historic downtown. The result has been a tremendous asset to our community. While celebrating the new, our Main Street is working hard to preserve the past. Built in 1912, the Dilworth Hotel was once a treasure of our community. But in recent years, it has fallen on hard times. With its future in jeopardy, Main Street took action and made the Dilworth a top priority and is actively working to bring this landmark back to life as a vibrant part of our community. Shane, why have you been holding a mushroom this whole time? Well, I thought it important to give people the taste of Boyne City. Skiing in the winter, lake activities in the summer, hunting and fishing in the fall. The, uh, the spring, of course, belongs to the ever-elusive and locally famed morel mushroom. Now stop worrying about what I'm holding and go get ready to tell them about some of our town's promotions while I tell them about Boyne City's Main Street philosophy. Our community knew from the beginning we needed help to revitalize our downtown. That's why we started attending Main Street conferences before we even applied to be a Main Street program. Now, as one of the master and nationally certified Main Street communities, we have developed countless mutually beneficial partnerships. These partnerships give us the chance to learn from and build on each other's success. We also have the opportunity, really the obligation, to share what we've learned along the way. Together, we can all realize our dreams. Maddie, you look ready. Here you go. Let me set the scene for you. A perfect Northern Michigan Friday evening. A wonderful sunset, white pine, and the smell of summer fills the air. Music spills from every street corner as local musicians and artists entertain residents and visitors alike. Started by the Promotions Committee in 2003, Stroller Streets has become one of Boyne's signature events. Held every Friday evening throughout the summer, the event draws thousands of people to town. While always strong, our farmer's market has prospered under Main Street leadership and has enhanced its reputation as the largest and best farmer's market in northern Michigan. Shane! Ooh. Our design committee is also helping transform Boyne City. Holiday decorations, wayfinding signage, benches, flowers, and banners are all part of the work of the design committee. Through Main Street, 11 property owners have transformed their buildings with facade improvements, bringing new life to our town. Boyne City Main Street understands that small business is key to prosperity. In direct response to this, Team Boyne was created in 2007. Reaching out to community leaders and business owners, Team Boyne helps provide the link between business and entrepreneurs to help build our economic future one job at a time. Main Street also partnered with others to create a first-of-its-kind business resource center in the Boyne District Carnegie Library. Wow, 
What a great place to call home. For a small community of 3,500 in Northwest Michigan, we have big dreams. There's a strong sense of community pride, a spirit of cooperation, and an attitude that people and ideas matter. In uncertain times, others are apprehensive. We are confident. Others contract. We try to grow and be better. Others look back. We look forward. Our Main Street program has been a big part of that. We're getting noticed for all our hard work. Like being named Michigan's 2010 Main Street Program of the Year. But you know what? I have a feeling the best is yet to come. Me too. All right, boys. One, two, three. Born City. Oh, I know my name is Maine. Where we can join together, we can realize our dreams. Born City, and our heart will never change. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. I'm in love with this town. A crucial part to make this sports show work is to find just the right person for the host. So we'd, we thought we'd host auditions for that uh, process to see what kind of talent we have. One on set. In three, two, one. Audition, take one. Hold on. Is this color right? Does this look good? Use the derivative. We're able to determine the summation. Of so girls soccer. How are you doing today? Do one of these guys start? RSN auditions, take 48. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. What is that, silk? Is that silk? Auditions, take 26. Auditions, that's what I'm here for. Survivor auditions, right? That's what these are? If you take in consideration your initial velocity, you can't wear shirts like this. They never have that many clothes on, so you just gotta go less. You gotta go less. Tree pose? You get fast breaks out of it. So what does this have to do with football? What color is that? Is that fuchsia? Okay. I am so ready. They're so ready for me on that show. I want to go. It'll be so much fun. Don't you think I could do it? Maybe in the, in the next group of 100, we'll actually find something we can use. <coughs> RSN auditions, take 106. Hang on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make up, make up. Come on. A little in front. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Right here, right here. Taking it again, 107. Perfect. Sports fans, welcome back to the Rambler Sports Network. Uh, Tony Cutler riding solo here for probably a little bit. There's a shot at President Chandler Roberts. Uh, Chandler is the president of the Investment Club. Jordan Wilmot. 28 to 15 now, the Glads with the lead. Starting this second half of play. Megan Knutson now passing it off to Juliana Phillips. There's the pass inside and the defense right off the back of Lydia Arthur and we're gonna get a foul call here. Foul's gonna come against Selena Brzezinski. No. It's not, I guess it's gonna come against Taylor Baker. And a little bit further away here, thought that was a two. That's really a one that he showed. Well, basket is up and in by Lydia, or Lydia Arthur there, or rather Megan Knudsen. <laughs> 30 to 15 now, the Glads with the lead. Here's Rainey McCune now, dribbling down, passing it out to Heather Nichols running it around here over to Taylor Baker. Pass inside to Courtney Weldon. Defense by the Glads is gonna stop it. Now here's Nichols. Nichols on the shot up is gonna be fouled and she's gonna go to the line and shoot two. Gladiator foul there on number 10, Lydia Arthur. Now Heather Nichols at the line shooting two. And the shot is up again. Landon Carter sending in a tweet. This is a biased tweet, of course, because Landon is running the uh, live text. At me, 
riding solo. Loser. Solo. I'm riding solo. <laughs> you guys had that all planned, didn't you? Landon, who are you going to prom with? Solo. <laughs> well, hey, quit fooling around over there. It's 34 to 16 now. Update that scoreboard. Well, a couple of quick scores by the Glads here. The rebound comes off and gets picked up again. And there's the basket by uh, Juliana Phillips. Point City's going to take a timeout. We're going to take a little break. We'll be right back. But it's over We're riding now. solo. The pain is gone. I'm putting on my shades to cover up my eyes. I'm jumping in my ride. I'm heading out tonight. I'm trying to hit here. Hey, Tyler, you got any more questions? Yeah, I'm going to the Fans, there's Logan Orman. Logan Orman on the camera crew. Logan, say something to the camera. Hi, hi, mom. He says hi, mom. Hey, Logan, let's do a new segment. You talk, and I'll read your lips, and then we'll see how, how well I match it up. Okay, go ahead and start going. I love LA. This game is very exciting. You know what? This is kind of like translating for somebody. In a different country. Okay, so look at look right at the camera, Logan. Logan, look right at the camera. Start talking, and I'm going to say what you're saying. Today, we're very excited to have with us Mr. Cutler as our announcer. He does an outstanding job, and I wish I could be as cool as him. And that was live translation, a new feature here on the Rambler Sports Network. Live translation. Now we're going to get a foul here against Heather Nichols, playing some pretty tight defense up against Megan Knudsen. Gladiators lead 36 to 16 with six minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Now the Glads bringing it down. That's Ann Lyman. Of course, we saw the Landon Cardis tweet and. Really, he set the bar pretty high there, but we want you to tweet us at Team BCVI. Tweet us at Team BCVI. Uh, we want to hear from you. Let us know that you're watching. Be sure to use the hashtag RSN Live and we'll get your tweets read live on the air. <laughs> 36 to 16 now. The foul coming against, uh, looks like Juliana Phillips. Here's the inbound now. Taylor Baker bringing it down. Passes over to Jenny Sellison. And Heather Nichols now bringing it out. The shot and in. Looks like her foot was on the line there for two. 36 18 and a basket now by. We're just uh, playing with the microphones here a little bit, so it might take just a second. Here's the shot, is up. Heather Nichols. Heather Nichols now with the shot, and now it's coming back. And the uh, Ramblers are down 38 to 18, and here comes a pass over to, there we go. There, there, there it is. Lydia Arthur. Nope, that was coming through my headset. And uh, there's Taylor Baker inside. Pass out. Oh, Heather Nichols has got it. Now here comes Taylor Baker. On the right setting there. It's not going. Oh. Can you hear me though? Oh, okay. Perfect. So the whole time we're doing tests on the microphone and it's, it's actually working. Okay, you can hear me the whole time? Okay. Well, we're gonna try, um, no, I don't. Well, we're gonna just, we're experimenting a little bit here on RSN tonight. 38 to 18. 
So you're going to have to be my ears then in case I get censored or something. me right now this is coming out live okay I should I be able to put mine on if this is on live I should be able to hear it through my headset right oh okay so so Jill can hear me though hi Jill how you doing I'm going to just. I know. Four minutes remaining. 39 to 18. Remaining. We're going to go sit right over here next to Jordan Struble. And Jordan, look right over here. You're on the camera. 39 to 18. What are you thinking right now about this game? It's been pretty tough for the Ramblers. Well, we can still come back. We sure, we sure can. A lot of time left in this game. Does it make you want to get out there right now and dunk it? Yes. Absolutely. Right. Can we get some noise from the students section here? Our cameraman's going to get kicked out of the game here in just a second as he's close to the uh, inbound here. Uh, this is a new feature here on RSN where I'm going to be in the stands talking to people and reading their texts. <laughs> looking right over their shoulder. You didn't even know I was sitting here, did you? Okay. All right. Guys, everybody look at the camera and say hi, Mom. All right. 39 to 18 right now. I'm going to try to not trip on the Warriors here. Let's stop right here for a second. We'll take a look at our section here. We're going we're gonna to make... Brennan, we're going to make another uh, trip into the stands. Rainey McCune now passing it out to Fouché. The shot for three comes just off the back now. The rebound coming by Suzanne Britton. She brings it down. Tries to force the turnover. Now the shot is up and off. Britton with the rebound. Knocks it out of bounds, and it'll be Gladiator's ball. Unsuspecting fans in the crowd here. Megan, Megan. Mr. Halstead, you're live on the Ramp for Sports Network. And uh, 41 to 18 right now. Long way to the top, as ACDC would tell us. That's for sure. A lot of turnovers happening in this game. A few shots like that aren't helping, helping us very much. There is Allie Johnson. Looks like she might have got fouled there, but we're not on the court, the referee, so we just have to watch and wait. I've stopped yelling, too. I've, I've, I've outgrown some of that. But I think the girls have really gotten better. So this has been a tough game against St. Francis. We can see a pretty big height difference as they're out there on the court. I've been predicting now that Allie Johnson's going to dunk. What do you think? Do you think that's possible? I do not think that's possible, Tony. I'm, I'm trying. I had a bet going earlier with Randy Calcaterra. We're up to $1,000 that if we see a dunk tonight, we'll donate $1,000 to wh whoever. J just in this game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a shot up and in by Rainey McCune. Now it's 41 to 20 with 2 minutes and 18 seconds to go. Uh, we're giving our cameraman quite the workout here. You can see over here. Wave. You guys are all on TV right now. Just if you wanted to know, you can wave, say hello. Oh, Ray, all the way from uh, Mallory's grandma watching from California. Send us a tweet. Does she know how to tweet? Does she have Twitter? Tell us to text her. Make sure she's watching. Tweet us at RSN at Team DCVI. Use the hashtag RSN Live. That goes out to everybody. We're going to get Chandler Roberts to come up in here with Jordan Romont. Ch Let's step right up here, Chandler. Chandler, Jordan, welcome to the program. Look right over here. You're live with us. And uh, so, Chandler, you're the president now. I am. 
I am president of the Stock Club for Boynton City, not of the United States. No, not 35 yet, so it's tough to do. Yeah, I mean, eventually I'll get there. So our big question of the day has been whether or not Allie Johnson can dunk. Do you think, and look at the camera when you before you answer, do you think Allie Johnson will get a dunk in this game? In this game, I don't believe it because, as I can see right now, she's on the... There's still a whole other quarter. Oh, there is. Um, I still, I'm not very confident that she's going, she's going to get a dunk right now. I mean, it's possible. Okay. Jordan, you've played basketball before. How many dunks have you had in your career? Probably like three. Three dunks. Rick Fouché makes a basket, 43 to 22. Last minute of play here coming down. The Gladiators with the shot. She gets fouled on her way up. She's going to go to the line. That's Sarah Carney. Do they even record dunks, or is that like an actual stat? That's a good question. Or I don't think so. We don't know for sure. Okay, we've got a bet. Now, there's our new, here's, here's our new feature, okay? Here's what we're going to do. We need those of you who are watching to tell us whether or not a dunk is a stat that they follow. Is a dunk the stat they follow? Tweet us at Team BCVI or go to our Facebook page. Let us know whether or not a dunk is a stat that we follow and whether or not uh, who's got the most dunks ever. Who do you think it is? Right here in Boynton City. In Boynton City, current or in all Since 1937. Since 1937, Ryan Shields. Ryan Shields. I don't even know who that is. Uh, the Jason, I think his name is Jason Rosicki. Jason Rosicki? He might. He played when I was in high school. Here's a basket by Brooklyn Barber now. 46 to 22, 40 seconds. Time is ticking away here. The pass is picked up. That's Allison Brunel. Right there. We're still working on reading people's text. I'm standing behind the student section. We're trying to see if we can read people's text. And uh, we want to know we want to know what they're telling their friends right now. So we're trying to. All right, 10 seconds. Time's ticking away here. Basket is up and in by Lauren McDonald. And that will mark the end of the third quarter. 48 to 22 right now, 48 to 22. Bit of a rough game for the Ramblers. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back with the fourth quarter here on the Ramblers Sports Network. A crucial part to make this sports show work is to find just the right person for the host. So we, we thought we'd host auditions for that uh, process to see what kind of talent we have. One on set in three, two, one. Audition, take one. Hold on. Is this collar right? Does this look good? Use the derivative. We're able to determine the summation. So girls soccer. How are you doing today? Do one of these guys start? RSN auditions, take 48. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is that, silk? Is that silk? Auditions take 26. Auditions, that's what I'm here for. Survivor auditions, right? That's what these are? If you take in consideration your initial velocity. You can't wear shirts like this. They never have that many clothes on, so you just gotta go less. You gotta go less. Tree pose? You get fast breaks out of it. So what does this have to do with football? What color is that? Is that fuchsia? I am so ready. They're so ready for me on that show. I want to go. It'll be so much fun. Don't you think I could do it? Maybe in the, in the next group of 100, we'll actually find something we can use. <coughs> Artisan auditions, take 106. Hang on, hold on, hold on, hold it. Makeup, makeup. Come on. A little in front. 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Taking it again, 107. Perfect. During the introductions, he was the guy telling us who makes the basket, who the foul is on, and uh, Tom's trying to pay attention, but Tom, this has been a, not a great game for the Ramblers. What's it like being this close to the action? I love it. I wish I would. Back in my day when I was doing basketball games on the radio, I wish I was this close all the time. <laughs> well, we get stuck off in the corner. We're doing a new feature now on RSN where we've got the wireless one going and we're roaming around getting feedback from people in the stands. Tom, how long have you been the announcer here? Oh, man, I don't know. What color was your hair when you started? My, no, it was still gray. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to ask just in case. It was black 30 years ago, I can tell you for sure. Well, I've been here a while. I can hear the voice of the Ramblers here. Tom, thanks for sharing your time with us. We're going to keep a roaming around here, uh, man on the street. Hey, please do. And I'll tell you what, this boys game might be a lot of fun too, you know. Well, we hope so. It's been tough for St. Francis. They lost to East Jordan by 15 the other night. We beat East Jordan. Should be a good matchup for sure. We'll have a lot of fun tonight, guys. So this gym ought to be rocking. Hopefully we'll have a few more people as we go. But I know they're listening and watching you. That's the most important. <laughs> well, I'd like to think they're watching me, but we know they're watching the girls out here tonight. But thanks, Tom. And Tom's our PA guy. Thanks, Tom. We're going to keep roaming around a little bit. A new feature here on RSN. I'm going to just move my way across the gym. <laughs> Serena Brzezinski makes a basket for the Ramblers. I wonder if we can interview one of the players. All right, we're gonna come over here. Alex Stutzman, let's get a shot of these guys over here. Pete, where'd you get that hat? Uh, from your school store. Right from the school store. Pete, guys, look right up here. You're on with, with us on the RSN Live broadcast. These guys are the mini student section. What are you guys, are you guys making sure to get everybody pumped up as they walk in the door? Yeah, yeah, sure. Ethan, what would you do differently out here right now if you were Coach Fitzpatrick? I would yell at teammates more. Would you dunk? Would you have Allie Johnson dunk? She can't. I think she can. No. How many people? You guys think Allie Johnson can dunk? You, uh, you think you can? All right, let's ask. All right. All right, you think that Allie Johnson can? Just maybe. What do you think she needs to do to make sure she can dunk? Get more, like get more speed and then jump. She needs more speed? Yeah, a little bit more. Listen, listen, Mr. Technical, Ethan Hill's giving us the technical side things. Okay, well, uh oh, Ethan, your dad's here. He wants to change from the money he gave you for the Reese's. And he's not gonna. All right, guys, make some noise. We're going to sneak in here on Ed Vondra. Ed, right over there, you're on live with us. Ed, not a very exciting game right now. It's been tough for the Ramblers. Wouldn't you I would say so, Tony. What do you think that you do? I, I've been going around saying I want to be Allie Johnson dunk. That would be a good idea. I think that this place would explode if Allie Johnson dunked the ball, wouldn't you? I think it would. be the first group ever do it here, I think. Ed, you've been on the school board for how many years? Yeah. Ask Tom Clemens when Tom... Now, so he said, how long has he been here? And I asked him what color his hair was when he started. Gray. And it, gray then. Just, yeah. All right. Well, we are, this is a new feature. <laughs> their perspective on the game. Thanks for being on with us. Unexpected. We didn't know that it was going to happen. Keep going. Next game. We'll do it again next game. We're sitting now next to Linda Christensen. Linda, look right over there. You're live on RSN with us. Hi, everybody. Linda. Right up here. Look at Alex will give us a wave. There's Alex waving. He's our camera guy. And uh, Linda, you just got here. I did. Are you excited about tonight's matchup? I really am. And Boynton City's going to trounce them. I believe it. I, me too. Linda, you're a real estate agent in Boynton City. How long have you been a Rambler? I've been a Rambler fan since 1970 when I married a Boynton City native. 1970. I was born in 82. Well, you missed 12 years, honey. What? <laughs> now I'm here. So um, you've been coming to the games ever since then? I have been. What do you think of RSN? I like it, especially when I couldn't get here to watch the game. Were you watching in your office? We do. 
That's great to hear. Well, we're glad that you're here. Be here live so I can harass you. It's, it's a lot more fun being here live, that's for sure. A lot more fun. So, all right, let's see what these girls are doing. Girls, are you excited about today's game? Look right over here. You're on the camera. Wave over to the camera. See him up there? So what do you think is going to happen during the boys' game? Um, I'm not quite sure. You're not sure? Do you think that Allie Johnson can duck it? You think so? Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk it? Yeah. Hi, Graham and Grandpa. Are they watching? Where are they watching from? Graham Rapids. Over there and talk. We'll see if they can tweet. Do they tweet? Do they have Twitter? Do you have Twitter? Do you guys have Twitter? Do you do you have Twitter? I I have Twitter, but I don't know how to use it. I don't know how it works. All right. Well, thanks. That was fun. Welcome. I don't know how to do Twitter. I don't know how. All right. We're oh. Look who it is. Ryan Carson's dad. Is Ryan going to dunk it? Certainly. Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk it? No. Okay. Listen, I think that Allie Johnson, by the end of the season, is going to get a dunk in the middle of the game. That's my prediction. Yet to be seen. Yet to be seen, but with the right amount of work, anything's possible. What's your prediction on tonight's game, the boys' game? Ten point win for Boise. Ten point win. St. Francis uh, one and four right now, coming off of a big Lake Michigan Conference loss against East Jordan. They lost by 15, so been a little bit rough for uh, the Gladiators. Uh, good matchup in football this year. Boynton City taking the win uh, on that one. We'll see what happens uh, uh, tonight. Absolutely. How's Ryan doing? Uh, he'll be fine if he can get to stay on the floor. <laughs> All right. Well, very good. Thanks, Mark. What up, homies? That's Malik Smith. I am Boyne Tuck. And this is Ramble Sports Network. See if they can hear us. Yeah, I, that's what I said. So, what's your prediction on uh, this game right here? Do you think Allie Johnson will dunk the basketball? I sure hope so. That would be really nice. I think that Allie can get a dunk. You do. I think there's time and she's going to do it. $5 uh, we have a thousand dollar bet going right now. <laughs> Mr. Calcutta and I will donate a thousand dollars to charity if she dunks the ball. If? When? When, okay. Look at, look at, she's at the line shooting. <laughs> what, if she just, what if she does a lane violation but still dunks it? Then that would, you, yeah, you would. Well, you graduated four years ago. I got first year. Or last year, I mean. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I graduated last year, too. Okay, it was quite a while ago, actually. Okay. All right, let's watch this right here. We're going to see what happens. If she makes this basket, I will do a cartwheel on the floor during the game. I am off the hook. Woo, that was a big risk. One, I can't do a cartwheel. Two, I wasn't going to do it anyway. 50 to 31 to score right now. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this game. Boyne City is having a tough ride right now. Haley Bouton thinks that Allie Johnson can dunk it, but just doesn't want to show off. Okay, here's a chance right here. All right. Here comes Taylor Baker down now, looking over to Brooke Fouché. The pass back out to Taylor. The shot for three. It's going to come off, and the rebound almost, but just out of the hands. Okay, there's a lot of time left for a dunk. I think the one girl from St. Francis might be able to dunk. Did you see how tall she was? 
number 12. He's taller than me. We got to get, listen, if I'm Coach Fitzpatrick right now, I'm drawing up a play for Allie Johnson to get the ball to Dunn. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm focused on right now. I don't know why, but that's what I'm focused on. That's why I don't coach. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go down and interview one of the referees during the game. Do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? It's a good idea. Let's do it. We're not really going to do it. I was just kidding. We're not really going to do it. We're not going inter to inter uh, interview the referee. All right, Billy Holland is here, Billy. Look right over here to Alex. You're on OSN. Uh, we're, we're taking predictions right now. Can Allie Johnson dunk the ball? Uh, I don't think so. Adam, can Allie Johnson dunk the ball? Probably if she gets up there enough. Who thinks that, who thinks that Allie Johnson can dunk the ball? That was weak. It's okay. Oh, she's at, all right, we're at the line here. I think Allie's going to get the rebound and dunk it right here. Okay. Oh, she's coming out of the game. Guys, she's coming out of the game because we're going to drop the play, okay? We're going to drop the play. Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk? Absolutely. Very good. Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk? Yes. Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk? Yeah. Yes. Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk? Yeah. Do you think... <laughs> you had a little accident there. Do you think Allie Johnson can dunk? No. 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 What? Maybe, maybe. Maybe you are non-committal. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. We're going over this way. We're coming back over towards the studio. 54 to 33, a minute and a half remaining in this game. We have got a tweet all the way from Muskegon. Go Ramblers all the way from Muskegon. Is that Cal Rob 321? 231 rather? It'd be nice if we knew the Twitter handle name. It'd be nice. Okay. Go Ramblers all the way from Muskegon. Now we know that Mallory Karaszewski's grandma is watching. She was tweeting earlier. Okay. Wow, it's been a lot of fun with our roving man on the street interviews today. We got a chance to look in the crowds and the question of course that we were all asking was Ken Ellie Johnson dunk? That was our question. And we'll see if that's true. Maybe not tonight though. 54 to 33 as we tick away on the time here inside of a minute. St. Francis Gladiators have kind of dominated a little bit in this game. The turnovers have hurt for sure. 54 33. 30 seconds. Go Ramblers. Boyne Tough. Rambler Pride at Team BCBI from Mrs. Hertel. Mrs. Hertel sending in a tweet. Thank you, Mrs. Hertel. She won a free candy cane. There's Chandler Roberts, Jordan Wilmot, Will Callow sitting in the stands there. I want to remind you that we have a wrestling meet in Onaway tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. The Ramblers travel to Onaway to wrestle. We have a home meet on Wednesday. 55 to 33. Yes. 20 seconds remaining, 56-33, St. Francis Gladiators. Pass by 
Fouché is going to be a little bit long and go out of bounds. 11 seconds. Five seconds. tonight for the round now it's 56 to 33 gladiators going to take this lake michigan conference win and that is going to bring us to about we're going to take about a 20 minute break here do 20 minutes in between games and we'll be back with the varsity boys game and uh make sure you tune back in take a moment a little intermission go get something to eat use the facilities do what you got to do tony cutler here for the rambler sports network we'll be back in about 20 minutes 